Welcome to the wonderful world of the Pauper Gauntlet. I'm Dan and I just fell into a swamp. I'm not kidding you. I was out mountain biking playing turf game and the zone was in a swamp. And I have managed swamp zones before. So I figured this one would be easy, but I just fell into the swamp and got drenched and had to go straight back home because it was slightly above freezing. I am in Sweden after all. I made a video about it on my Turf Game channel. Sadly, that one is in Swedish because Turf Game is mainly Swedish. But I'll link to it in the show notes. But I'm just, okay, screw this. I'm going home. I'm doing the Pauper Gauntlet. At least it's safe. But the question is, is it safe for Rise of the Legionnaire? Because that's, that's the deck that now will play against probably Set Control as everybody is playing Set Control with Treasure Cruise. And I think that's a, a crappy matchup for this deck. But we shall do what we, tr what we can. If you haven't put Isset Control in your sideboard plan, please put it there. Uh, we do have some redundancy, some card advantage built into this to counter. He takes a mulligan, that's pretty good. Uh, tapped land, not nice. Let's crossroads. Oh, that can't be good. So we have unmakes, we have Cathars. Unmake, very good against Treasure Cruise. Just kidding. Playing against the One Hunter. Stupid game is still buggy. Okay. So. Ah, uh, we're playing against the Kitty. That must be a horrible, horrible, horrible matchup. But we are going to do it. Well. Seems that loyal Cathar has left the building. Uh, okay, we're gonna judge it unworthy. We'll top card, scry three first, yeah, so that's gonna work. Not too familiar with judge unworthy, but at least we'll get rid of that guy. He might even uh, flicker it or something. We scry three as well. Unless he flickers it. In which case the whole world just sucks. Okay, we're putting everything on the bottom. And we reveal Bone Splitter. That means we're gonna play a dry Sanctum Gargoyle. I Kathian Javelineers. Maybe it's not a sorry skitty. That looks really weak. As does the guild gate. So there's hope. But there's a reality acid. But I'm gonna get a really big hit in here with it. And I like that. And now it will be going away. Got him down to 20, that's awesome. Hope he cast this without a bouncer. He's digging for it. So is the Soris Kid in the cyberphone? Yes! Three dispellers capsule. So what are we dispelling? Oh, obviously the journeys. Journeys. Yes, that's what we are doing. We are about artifact recursion after all.
Goodbye, Sanctum Gargoyle. We will have you back. And now we'll just uh, unmake a core sky fisher, I think. Save the step. We could unmake and sacrifice. Yeah, we'll play the step. I'm gonna unmake on his turn, so if he saves it, we can still, uh, we still don't get attacked. He doesn't have any synergy as well. So die, Skyfisher. Here comes the acid again. No, it's an oracle. Hmm. Well, Javelineers is bad news for my uh, my Legionnaires. That almost everything is bad news for Porcelain Legionnaire. That's why we can recur him so much. So uh, we have two Remember the Fallen, four Sanctum Gargoyles. We are also playing faster than this Azorius Kitty player. So hope is not lost. Then I'm gonna have to go to eat something warm. I've already taken a warm bath to recover from my swamp experience. Hey, I would like a creature. Do I kill these guys? They are so useless. I will Celestial Flare. Hopefully getting rid of the javelinier. She doesn't know I'm obsessed with my legionnaires. Yes, nice. And I'll take this beating, save my unmake for real creatures. Like one for threeing myself against Maldrifter. Take out Bone Splitters and a Loyal Cathar against Azorius Kitty. Well, that's a real creature because it does two damage to me. So let's just unmake it. And now we have nothing. While the Azorius Kitty deck mysteriously has three cards. Because it has grinded. Pure value. So, I know the Azorius Kitty Brewers are not listening, but what about Treasure Cruise? Does it have a, a room in Azorius Kitty? What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Everybody's so high on Treasure Cruise, but generally when a new powerful card comes out, it uh, will be overestimated. Okay, now he has a bounce target. There is a stupid Javelinier. And I draw lands. I'm getting beaten down by Junk. Player planes. No use holding three planes. I suppose I could get a great Remember the Fallen or Sanctum Gargoyle turn. But here is the card that will kill me. Uh, well, taking out the Bone Splitter doesn't seem a bad idea. Looking at how they are performing here. Journey the Muldrifter, that just sucks so hard, but we have to prevent him from bouncing it. He's playing fast enough, I guess. 
Only if I can get him down to like 15 minutes is time relevant. But I'm only at 8 now. And he's at 24. And of course he has reality acid. That can remove anything. So now he gets the Muldrifter back. Maybe you should never journey the Muldrifters. Yeah, that's pure horror. And now he has six power as well. Seven power. I draw land. Do I have the cycling lands? I think the cycling lands would be better than the step. But I'm not a brewer. Uh oh. I'm at one. What can I draw here? Probably not a lot. Well, this guy. Does not even keep me alive. Oh yeah, he's really powerful. Look at all the bones, please. Coming at you with two axes. One in each hand. He's like, ah ha ha ha. Oh, spear in the chest. What a shame. Okay, let's see what we can do after sideboarding. Three capsules, take out the bone splitters, two of them, and one loyal Cathar. Because we saw that he wasn't very useful. And here we go again. But I am afraid, very afraid. Yes, I want to play first. There's my legion at least. Now he is, will be surely tested. And the steps. This is a borderline mulligan card, but I think this deck mulligans pretty badly, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna think that it's a six land hand with four lands, and I would definitely keep that. So let's go legionnaire then. And do what we are supposed to do. 3 1 first strike. How do you deal with that? Asaurus Kitty. Okay. That's the way you deal with that. But I can make him come back. Which is what I'm going to do at the end of your turn. And then yeah, seven hits later you'll be dead. Yeah, he can't block. It's just a road bump to the mighty legionnaire. This effect when not being instant seems so bad. Haha, the legionnaire is back. And uh, Lone Missionary, Core Skyfisher, Lone Missionary. Or just Core Skyfisher to speed up the clock. Oh, I'm going for the 8 life. But the, the Lone Missionary is fairly pointless. Uh, ha ha. Now I can retrieve the Dispeller's Capsule. So what do I do if he has a Dreamstalker? Uh oh. That's gonna be really hard.
Preordain has been played. And he's playing quickly enough. Journey to nowhere. No, it's a dream stalker for the Seagate Oracle, and then my offensive has just stopped. Except that it hasn't, because I can play this and give Porcelain Legionnaire protection from blue. Haha! <laughs> Charge my minion! And then I'll play the Skyfisher for the Lone Missionary. Play the Lone Missionary. I should have gotten the step right, but I can't keep it up. So now I'm reliant on Skyfisher. But I am really, really scared of Azorius Kitty. Do you think we'll see a treasure cruise from this Azorius Kitty build or not? I don't know. I only work here. Stupid Oracle. Can I? I can return a target creature and a target artifact. Yes. So a creature has to die. Skyfisher has a lot of work to do. Do I now keep this capsule in my hand until there's actual target? I think I do. Because playing it is just gonna get it reality as it is. Okay, now I want more steps. I should have Skyfisher the step. Yeah, if I now kill the reality acid, I get rid of it, but is that really worth it? I hate that line. Oh! So I remember the Fallen. Target creature. Target artifact. I didn't play land, no. So play the Sky Fisher. Return the step. Play the step. Haha! -ha! Protection from blue again. I'll not play the capsule. Lone missionary doesn't feel great. Serrated arrows wouldn't do a whole lot. Hmm. It's a lot of bone splitters in this deck. But only one remains now. Mulrifter! He has seven cards and I have three cards. He's just grinding me out. And he's getting more life. But all I can do is Sky Fisher the step again. And attack him with my trusty Legionnaire. Uh, Unmake his Skyfisher and swing with the Skyfisher as well. I 
Ah. Now we're getting somewhere. But he will gain two life now and be back at eight. Which is a problem. Now, Bone Splitter would help the Legionnaire to get through against the Dreamstalkers. Is this really the best cyborg plan? There's a journey at least, so I can get rid of. He's getting a uh, Skyfisher, of course. So then I can get another step. Ooh. Reality Acid. No alone missionary. Getting him back to 12. An oracle. Well, the ground is pretty hard to get through. He's just drawing so many cards. He could probably just raise me at this point. Okay, play the capsule. Burn the capsule on the journey. Return it. Return the step, play the step. Give it protection from blue again for the third time. Swing. Seven. Oh, different Muldrifters. So now I can exile a Muldrifter in response to his double block for a nice two for three. He goes back to 11. I think you're staying home blocking, Mr. Legionnaire. Skyfisher attack! Haha, if he has blink, this will suck. No blink, no blink, no! Oh, never gets any easier. That his aerial defense has been compromised. Unless he plays oh, anything in his grindy deck. Do you target the reality assets or do you not? I think you don't do it. it didn't turn out well last time I did it in the gauntlet. Uh oh, bye bye Skyfisher. Bye bye love. Skyfisher is so good in this deck. Now he's so dead. Rise of the Legionnaire, please live. Oh. 
I'm up to my old trick here. Destroy it. Bounce the step. Play the step, giving him protection from blue. And now he will probably just throw one lone missionary in the way. This is so hard. But I got him at six. I want to win so badly. I've lost so many matches. Nothing is impossible. Stupid acid. I'm a sky fisher. So now we can actually block the legionnaire. And that was my last hope. Yeah, this is all over. Look at how outvalued I was. I guess I'll trade. But now what? Now what do I do? Just been super outgrinded. Loyal Cathar! Haha! Nobody expects the Loyal Cathar. He just never runs out of bouncers. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll just F6. This is not looking very good, is it? Poor, poor rise of the legionnaire. And still, after all these matches, I haven't learned how to spell legionnaire. It's really hard to spell if you're not a non uh, if you're not an English speaker. Ouch. That's a lot of creatures. Ha! Loyal Qatar returns. I think that Javelinier is assigned to handle the problem of the undead priest. Shoot him! Shoot the undead priest! Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Rise of the Legionnaire, you have fought well, but this is the end of the line for you. Asorius Kitty, 0 to 2. Even the gods are against your nasty deck. And here's a flare from the heavens. And another one bites the dust. But I can't play the song because then the video will not be allowed in the US. So thank you Rise of the Legionnaire. That was it for you.